Hello YouTube, it's Pro City Gaming here with another building tutorial. This is actually an upgrade video to the standard medieval house that I have a video. The link will be in the description to that. But I'm doing this upgrade video because when I built the original one, it was right next to the other one. And you know you can't have variety if there's two of the same thing next to each other. So I made this video of how to upgrade this house. So let's get to the upgrades. First off, we have a patio with seating and lighting. Then we have a swimming pool slash hot tub. We also have a flower garden. With this miniature half wall, we have a normal garden with a roof covering your valuable crops. This would be the pen for any animals you'd like to store. Chickens maybe if you want to have stuff with eggs. This is the normal inside bottom floor. Now I've added a basement to hide more stuff. If you wanted to, you could put a cobblestone over this step and you would never know it was there. I utilized the space from the tower and built a staircase to the second level and a area up here for looking around. This actually has a great view to the outside wall and that cow over there and the rest of the kingdom I guess you could call it okay now that I'm finished showing you guys the upgrades let's get to building them okay YouTube I am back as you can see I've hired some villagers to get rid of that tilled dirt but they're not doing a very good job so they're gonna be fired but the first upgrade that we're going to look at is the um, tower yeah those oh it's tiny all right so yeah those villagers are really getting in the way now that i realize they're not even doing their job of getting rid of the tilled dirt they think i'm building them a house i guess but i'm not so you build the posts in the corners three blocks high and then to keep with the design of the bottom floor make the area in between it stone bricks just like the rest of the lower part of the house then keep going up with no actually scratch that come across like this with the wood and then go up with the wood once again four blocks get rid of this and now you can start placing the wool and um, put a window right in the middle of this and build up the sides I'll get the glass panes real quick there you go now come across again with the wood and build up again and then break into this um, ceiling and the ceiling framing and come across with uh, wood once again and build it up and then put wool back here if you don't want to do all the work of a tower then you can just put a fireplace over here but I think the tower is pretty cool I mean you get a pretty good view because you're right next to the wall you can put windows along this wall too but I think it'll be okay without them, considering there will be a full observatory on the upper level. So now that you have finished the wool, just put the last level of wood going across. And then build out. And then up three blocks. No, nope, actually up two and down one. Come across with the wood. Up two down one
now that you're done with that, you'll want to put the wool in for your um, walls. So once you've done that, put in the glass panes. Put it all the way around on top of here because there will be an overhang with the half slabs. And then bring the second level up. And before you close in the roof, just um, make the floor for up here and leave a hole for the ladder that might not be in the right spot I'm not really sure at this point and then there's the roof now you just want to put the overhang down and any lighting you want I'm just going to make it daytime so you guys can see. Okay, we are done with the tower. So now that you've done that, you'll just want to place down the roofing for over here. Like this, and then come from an angle over here. And then place down the half slabs so there's your little roof for over there and then come over here this guy's probably in the way I think he is and build it three out they're making really strange noises I'm not sure what that is either. I think that they're hungry for flaming gray cheeseburgers. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So, just like the other side with the tower, build three blocks up. And then the same thing out here. And also the same thing, make the wall in between it out of stone bricks and then get fence and fence uh, gates place that there and then the gate here and then for the roof just come along the top like this and then put no actually come from the sides like that so it turns and then resume the half slabs along there you'll need to place lighting around I'm not because it's daytime so now you've done that I will be back with the proper supplies to do the rest of the video. Okay, I'm back. Now what we are going to do is do the walkway and patio area. Which will look like this. This is the steps for the front door. These, um... Villagers are really getting annoying. I probably shouldn't have sat them down, but whatever. Okay, now just bring it over here, out three blocks. Same thing with over here. All the way to the edge of this platform type 
piece of land, I don't know. Where the garden's gonna be. It's raised up by one block. And then bring this cobblestone line all the way out over here. And then the pathway that goes over here will look something like this. With that block over there like that. messed up right here so then you bring the cobblestone all the way out over here to match up with this side And, um, as you can see, I didn't completely dig out the pool. I assume you guys know how to dig the hole for it. So I only filled it, when, um, it in with dirt. I'm just going to place some water in here real quick. You have to place it in the middle and then around the edges. So that the water is not flowing, it's just stationary. Like that. Once you've done that, you'll want to set down the walling for the garden. This wall works like um, fencing, but it actually is smaller than a normal sized block. Now you'll want to make the cobblestone pathway that goes through the garden. And then put the hole for the water. This guy is really annoying. He's getting in the way a lot. He's probably going to break all my farmland. So I'm just going to get rid of him. Maybe. Okay, that took a while. So place down your jack lanterns. You really don't have to do all of this. I don't really need a tutorial to show you guys how to set down farmland. But I'm just doing it anyways because I showed you what it'll look like. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do so it looks like that. So now that you're done with the garden, you can go over here, grab your flowers. Place down the flower bed. And then finally, just get your torches out and step. Okay. Wood steps. And then. Wow, that was a fail. The sign. And then your fence. And then the wooden pressure plate for the tabletop. Okay. So come over here, place it down like that, make it sort of a round table. Put down the tabletop, place down a quick sign. You can write on it if you want to, but you don't have to. Place down the wood, torches, and now to the basement. Oh yeah, and we have to do the steps. I didn't completely dig out the basement. I assume you guys can do that. Just bring your steps down like this. You can go back to the beginning of the video to see exactly how to do it. And then bring your other steps up. No, you gotta go forward one. Do you? Yeah, 
you have to go forward one. And place down a landing platform, I guess. That would be, that's what it would be called. Place another one right here. And then resume the steps all the way into the floor. And then build the flooring back wherever you don't need it to be removed. And then get the ladder. Okay, wow. I'm not very good at spelling, as you guys can see. Just place the ladder up here. I did make the hole in the wrong spot. And there you go. You are done with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And goodbye.